Small businesses say the city's emergency loan package comes up short. CBS 2's Vince Gerasoli is live in Pilsen with how the city is working to prioritize who gets money first. Vince. Erica, the application went online last Tuesday. Business owners were told they could have money in hand in just a matter of days, but the money has yet to flow, and that's in part because of the huge response to this effort. And the city is busy verifying every application and also making sure the money flows to each neighborhood in the city. So we have no income coming in right now and a ton of expenses piling up. As brushes sit still and chairs sit empty, the silence is almost deafening at Pilsen's A Salon. Is yeah. it hard looking around and seeing it this empty? Ugh, it's, it's brutal for us. With eight stylists furloughed, owner Rudy Moser applied for the city's small business emergency loan when it came online last Tuesday. The portal opened up and I applied for the loan within 13 minutes. The impact's been massive. At Ground Up Coffee in Greektown. So initially, the owner Alexander Theo Harris applied within hours too. He's still waiting to hear back. It's been over a week, so I suspect there's a flood of applicants, you know, tying up the whole process. He's right. The city's Small Business Resiliency Fund totals $100 million. It provides emergency loans of up to $50,000 to businesses with 50 or fewer employees, with 50% going to payroll. 6,500 have applied for their share. When you say 6,500 have applied, there are people who are going to be turned down. Yes, there's no question that the demand for what uh, small business owners are seeking is much more than the supply of funds. That Brad McConnell is the CEO of Axion, the nonprofit spearheading the application process. He says the city is verifying business licenses, bank accounts, and factoring in geographic locations to make sure the funds are equitably spread out to all neighborhoods. Uh, it's been predictably overwhelming. Uh, the need is great. And then late today, for Rudy Moser, in his inbox, a sign of hope. His application cleared the city's debt check. Up until about an hour ago, we didn't know if anybody was looking at anything. It is a lot of pressure that's relieved, but, um, you know, I can't wait for the next step as well. The city is also prioritizing businesses that have been hit hard by the coronavirus pandemic, like a salon or a restaurant. Now, we're told by Exxon they've added extra staff, they're working extended hours, and they believe they can have money in the hands of businessmen by this Friday. Reporting live from Pilsen, I'm Vince Girasoli, CBS 2 News.